Hey, hey, fine people. Today we're going to talk a little bit about relationships, specifically virtual relationships. Why? Because that's what's going on in the world. Let's get into it. Okay, so we all are experiencing this solitude. We may be quarantined with somebody. Let's hope that you are. If not, you're all alone and it's even more uh, lonely and whatnot. So we've talked in the past about how you can use this up as an opportunity for those you are quarantined with to build on that relationship, to fix things that might be broken, to start building success habits, get rid of the failure habits and start building momentum. Today, I wanna talk a little bit about how you can do the same thing, but with your friends, your colleagues, your family, your these other people, right? So this is an opportunity to say, okay, I maybe don't spend as much time as I'd like to with somebody that lives in another state or in another city, maybe even another country. Now I can literally talk to anybody We at any time. We've actually had this ability, but it's kind of shining a spotlight on the fact that we can do it. I personally am, and my family, we've been having virtual dinners with my family that lives in DC, with her family that lives in Ohio. We've been doing it with friends that um, live in other states as well. And it, the funny thing is we're doing it way more now than we were before, even though we weren't seeing them then either, right? So we're using this as kind of a, an opportunity and it's something that we want to use as a success habit to continue to do. And I will be curious and interesting to see how many people actually continue to maintain these relationships with people that are far away and in places that they can't normally see. Because we all know we get really busy and then before we know it, a week, a month, six months, a year has gone by and we haven't talked to somebody that we actually do care about. So I want you to be thinking about people that you maybe haven't connected with in a while that do mean something to you that you wanna connect with. And rather than just giving them a call or shooting them a text or liking their friend their photo on Facebook, set up a Zoom chat with them, set up a Hangouts. I don't know if you know what this Hangouts is, but my wife and I did it, it's really cool. I think it's been around for a long time and it was for like 13 year olds and teeny boppers. And now all of a sudden it's like taking the world by storm. You can have a glass of wine, hang out, and then there's trivia, there's games that you can play, there's heads up, and there's all sorts of fun things that you can do. So it's hanging out, it's playing games, it's kind of a whole situation. So we've been actually doing that with some of our friends as well that are local here um, that we can't see that we would normally be going out and having drinks with at the bar. So that's saving money. It's still actually just as gratifying and fun. So I hope that you guys are figuring out different ways and different things to do this. If you have any suggestions for things that I haven't talked about, Please share them. Would like to hear how you guys are staying connected to the people you love and care about. This has been your Five Core Friday. See you next week. Thanks. Get moving. Build momentum. Join the movement. Go to moremomentum.com to take a free life evaluator quiz on where you currently stand in each of your five cores.